Hi everybody and welcome back to Health, Fitness and Science. The information, I included in this video, helps you understand the composition of blood, in particular, the importance of hematocrit testing. The blood contains a large number of substances, and various specific tests were developed to assess its composition. One such test, is the hematocrit, which measures the percentage of erythrocytes, commonly known as red blood cells. The hematocrit test is performed using a machine, called centrifuge, which by spinning the blood sample, causes the heavier elements suspended within the sample to separate from the lightweight, liquid plasma. The red blood cells settle at the very bottom of the hematocrit tube, because they are the heaviest elements in the blood. After spinning the blood, in addition to the red blood cells, are also visible the buffy coat in the plasma. The buffy coat is located above the red blood cells, and is a thin layer that normally constitutes less than 1% of the blood sample. The buffy coat comprises leukocytes, commonly known as white blood cells, and the platelets, also known as thrombocytes. Above the buffy coat is the blood plasma, normally a pale, straw-colored fluid, which constitutes the remainder of the sample. The plasma is the largest part of the blood, and includes different substances, such as water, proteins, hormones, nutrients and so on. In females the plasma is about 59% of the total blood volume, and in males the plasma is around 53%. After centrifugation, the volume of erythrocytes is also commonly referred to as packed cell volume, or PCV. On average, about 45% of a blood sample is composed of red blood cells. However, the hematocrit can vary significantly, ranging from 36 to 50%, according to gender and other factors. For females, the normal hematocrit values, range from 37 to 47%, with a mean value of 41. While for males the hematocrit ranges from 42 to 52%, with a mean of 47. The percentage of other formed elements, the white blood cells and platelets, is extremely small, so it is not generally considered with the hematocrit. Okay, now let's talk about hematocrit values that are not within the normal range. If the hematocrit value is very low, it indicates anemia. There are various types of anemia and different causes. I am not going to discuss this topic in any detail in this video, because we have uploaded another video, which discusses anemia in details, and is available to watch in this channel. Let's focus on high hematocrit. There are different factors that can cause very high hematocrit values, including dehydration, low oxygen availability, as a result of living in altitude or smoking. Besides, very high hematocrit value can indicate the presence of health condition, such as pulmonary fibrosis, congenital heart disease, or polycythemia vera. The intervention for high hematocrit values, depends on the cause. If high hematocrit is due to dehydration, it can be corrected by drinking adequate amount of water. Quitting smoking is also important. If high hematocrit results from living in altitude, the values can be higher than normal, but usually are not very high. In some cases, hematocrit levels can be very high, and is often caused by a disorder, requiring a treatment. Very high hematocrit levels affect the blood viscosity significantly, thickening it and slowing its rate of flow around the body. This impaired flow can increase the risk of blood clotting, especially when a person is at rest and their heart rate is low. The treatment of high hematocrit level is established by a specialist, and generally depends on what causes it. So let's put everything together, and keep the big picture in mind. The hematocrit is a blood test that measures the percentage of red blood cells. On average, about 45% of a blood sample is composed of red blood cells. Although this percentage can vary within certain ranges, however, if the hematocrit values are very low, they indicate anemia. While, if the values are very high, they can indicate dehydration, low oxygen availability, or the presence of a health condition, such as pulmonary fibrosis, congenital heart disease or polycythemia vera. The treatment of high hematocrit level is established by a specialist, and generally depends on what causes it. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.